Well, g'day everyone. Welcome back. Um, today I thought I'd do um, a bit of a, a different video that I, I really hadn't had planned, but um, I saw one published earlier this week and, and it got me thinking. And I'd only just recently bought this product as well because I was, I had my own thoughts on this. So the video that I saw earlier in this week um, was a comparison between uh, tire deflators. So Storm tire deflators, the new Camp Boss tire deflators, and the, tr the traditional if you like it, um, ARB uh, tire deflator. Um, again, I've just recently upgraded, or I'll call it an upgrade, but I don't really know now, so this has got me thinking. And it was about what's quicker and what's not. Now, the video that I watched, the review that I watched, I don't think was a fair comparison because it was basically just about letting the, the air out, what released air quickest obviously when you remove a valve stem the air is going to be released much quicker than than leaving the valve stem in there's no, no two questions about that but it's the process and ease of airing down that i wanted to cover which has been starting to to bug me a little bit um, with the arb um, tire deflator which i'll show you uh, I get sore legs, sore knees, and, and really a, a bit of discomfort whilst I do that process. Whereas um, I've, I've just purchased a new Camp Boss tire deflators. I'll explain to you why I went them. I used to have Storms years ago, and, and I'll tell you why I don't use, haven't used those for years. Um, but yeah, so we're going to time the exercise of from start to finish for four tires. Um, again, this is a comparison. This is not a, a how to deflate tires or what PSI you should be running. This is simply a comparison around the total time taken to air down um, and some of the advantages and disadvantages for, for each, each item. So hope you find this in, in, uh, entertaining maybe or uh, informative It's probably the word I was looking for. So anyway, grab something cold to drink and uh, watch me uh, work up a sweat here. Okay, so here's the, here's the Camp Boss tire deflator. And what I like about this, and the reason why I went away from Storm a couple, well, quite a few years ago, I had, I had two sets of Storm uh, 15, 20 years ago when they first come out onto the market. The reason why I had two sets was because th there was, they were so cumbersome and difficult to set to the right pressures. And as we know, we adjust our, our pressures based on the terrain that we're, we're about to tackle. Sometimes that might be beach, sometimes it might be corrugations, but it's never the same um, air pressure for, for all types of four-wheel driving. So I had two sets, one set for beach, one set for, for general off-roading, and even then I found that I had to adjust um, you know, differently or manually. Like, so what I like about these is, these are different because there's a lock nut here that just comes off. And I'll just show you. So you can see there, if that will focus. It's got the, it's got all the, the PSIs written there. And all you do is you screw it around, adjust it to where you want. So again, and it takes five seconds, if that, to adjust the air pressures. So you can adjust from five PSI up to I think it's about 30, 35 PSI on this particular unit. Screw the lock nut back on and you're good to go. So for the purpose of this exercise, I'm gonna set them all to 20 PSI. Uh, I think that's, I've just picked 20 because that's just a general um, ballpark. What's been giving me grief with the um, ARB Easy Deflator, as I, as I mentioned, has been having to constantly bend over um, or squat during the whole air down process. Um, again, I've never timed it, so I don't know how long that is. All I know is that for each tire, by the time I've finished deflating, my knees are sore and aching and, and it's, it's really discomforting. So that's why I've just bought these. I haven't even used these yet. This is the first time, and, and I'm only doing this video because I watched um, a review um, two days ago and I really thought it wasn't a fair comparison. What it doesn't factor in is the actual time to attach the easy deflator to remove the valve stem, put the valve stem back in, and then to remove the um, remove the easy deflator. Okay, so what we'll do now is um, we'll do the camp boss first. First, I'll walk around. I'll put all of them on, and then um, 
I'll just leave the camera set up on one so you can sort of see the process. But again, this is not a how-to video. This is just me comparing some, some times, really for, for my own benefit, um, realistically. Um, so we'll cover that off anyway. We'll put these on and get stuck in. Okay, so just started the stopwatch now. Um, I have removed the valves, um, the caps off all tyres, and I'll do that for both tests. Um, I just look, didn't think it's necessary. That's the second one on. Hopefully you can hear it so you know uh, that I'm not sort of fudging anything here. There's the third one. Third one's on now. And that's the fourth one on. So we'll um, we'll see how long that takes. Okay. So number one's finished. Number two's finished. So they're all finished now. Three. Four. Let's go over and stop the stopwatch. Bear with me here. And stop. 343. So 343 um, from basically 35 to 38 down to 20. All four tyres. Um, yeah. Interesting. So what we'll do is I'll air back up to the same PSI. And then we'll run the easy deflator through the same exercise. Then um, we'll have a bit of a chat about uh, the outcome. Hey guys, I'll tell you what, I'm, in, I'm impressed. I just thought I'd just run the gauge around just to check for accuracy. So again, for transparency and just peace of mind, but you saw how I adjusted and how you set those camp boss and how easy they are. Look at this gauge. All four tires, dead on 20. Man, I tell you what, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with that alone. There's no way in the past setting the storms up, you could have got them that accurate first time. No way. Anyone who wants to challenge me on that, I'm happy to do so. So anyway, I'll air back up and then we'll, uh, we'll get on to part B. Okay, so we've just aired back up. Um, so you can see there, we're back to 35 in the front, 38 in the rear, all the way around. Now, this is the part that I've been doing for a while now, um, which I'm really not looking forward to. So we'll get the ARB Easy Deflator and um, we'll go around there. Um, what I won't be able to show you in this video is actually how, uh, how discomfortable it is and, and how much my legs hurt. So again, don't forget what we're doing here is everything's supposed to be for enjoyment and relaxation, right? Not, uh, not for any other intended purposes. If I wanted to do a leg exercise, I would go to the gym, but that ain't gonna happen anytime soon. We all know that. Righto, I'll uh, grab this, we'll set up the camera. Again, I'll set it up on one, take you through the exercise on one, and then I'll, I'll whip around and do all four, and then I'll show you the time at the end of it. Righto, so I'm just going to reset this timer. Start now. We already did last time, and here we go. Try not to block the camera for you. The other part of this too is you've got to keep stopping the air out process to check where you're at because you don't want to over deflate, obviously. Okay, so she's on. We'll take the valve stem out now. Yeah. And we're underway. And what you'll find is that this gauge is never accurate to where you actually are. So if you could just follow this and stop when it got to 20, that'd be great. But what you'll find is that's not necessarily the case all the time. It'll jump around and change all the time. So as you can see there, we're at 21, 21, bang on 20. That's one done. All right, no. Screw the valve stem back in. Hey, listen, the other thing, also is that they reckon that um, you can damage your valve stems as well doing this all the time um, I, 
and to be honest, I haven't had it happen on the vehicle, just making a second one on now, um, but I have had it happen to my camper trailer. So I had to replace a valve stem because it developed a slow leak. So um, just something to be mindful of there as well. There we second one's on the way. Okay, that's number two done. Again, my knees are hurting. And it takes me, as each one goes through, my leg takes longer and longer to get up and down. Okay, and we'll stop there. At 4.21, I'll tell you what. Yep. Yeah, some people might say, I don't know, what was 30 seconds? No, I haven't done the maths yet, right? 25, 35, whatever it is. Half a minute. I don't know if you can see the sweat on me but that is a much more painful experience than just simply putting those camp boss on and they're quick. So that, and that was with one person putting all four on. Um, what I'll do is I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna do it. Look, you, you do the maths, we don't need to do it. We know that it's already quicker. If your partner gets out or your kids get out and they put two on each, you're going to be quicker again. You're not going to be half. The, you're not going to be half the time. I still reckon you probably take from time you put the first one on to the time you put the last one on. I reckon you'll save approximately 30 seconds. So, if you take that logic, roughly 3:15 versus what this one I said was. Uh, 421 so I'm, I'm i'm saying a minute yep so um in summary so you're going to save a minute roughly thereabouts um it's easier uh, more enjoyable so you know you can utilize that time better you know we pull over the side of the road when you go from bitumen to gravel chuck them on you know typically you're going to walk around you're going to want to um check your check your load Make sure your vehicle, there's nothing's come loose. Make sure your straps are still tight. You can get a drink out of the fridge. Um, you know, so again, I see nothing but positives by utilizing the Camp Boss compared to um, an ARB um, Easy Deflator. That's my personal opinion. That is now my preference. That is now what I will do um, going forward. Again, you know, um, I've mentioned that they're easy enough to adjust. And look, if I'm going to go to the beach next week, uh, you know, when I've got a spare couple of minutes, I'll grab the deflators, I'll adjust them down to 15, 12, whatever I want to run them at, and then on the day, they're there ready to go. You, you typically, you know where you're going to go beforehand anyway. So, you know, I, I don't see that as a negative at all. Um, but yeah, you know, look, these are just my opinions. I hope that's been uh, helpful for you. Um, again, I just... Uh, I'm glad that um, my logic, um, you know, followed up through this test, um, you know, came through to be true. Um, and again, just so I hope that, you know, other people sort of, um, you know, um, got some benefit out of that as opposed to, again, like I said, I can only reference the, the video I saw during the week, which um, which wasn't a fair comparison, guys. Um, look, you know, I, I've done it the way I thought it would be best um, if, you, if you don't agree with my logic. Uh, if you want to challenge uh, my idea there as to what the, the outcome was, um, feel free to drop me a comment below. Um, but again, as always, um, just want to keep pushing out um, content that's relevant to everyone um, new in the industry, even if you've been around for a while, um, as new products come out um, and ideas change. Um, so again, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe, um, hit the notifications so you can see new content as it comes down. Like I said, I'm going to try and release one to two videos every week and hopefully, um, you know, I'll, I'll make content that's, that's relevant and everyone's getting some value out of. So until next week, thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.